complex shape scenario two. All right, I'm going to add another cube to the scene here, and we're going to look at another example. This time I'm going to, again, add the modifier to it and apply a couple subdivides to it. Okay, control R. This time I'm going to go all the way around every side. Just like that. And then I'm going to say to myself, hey, what if I needed a rounder shape to appear at the very top, but I want the box to maintain solid? Well, let's go through that scenario. Okay, I'm going to grab this face and I'm going to extrude individual. Again, I'll just go into R, size that up. Okay, so this is what I want. I want this to come out and be rounded. And this to maintain its square. Okay, extrude individual. Hit tab and you can see that's what happens. I get the square because I've braced the outside edge and then all of a sudden I got this dimple that appears at the top. That goes true for the other end of the spectrum. Let's say I wanted this to go in. Go like that. So now instead of a, a divot at the top, it's a dent. And you can see that. All right, now, again, you know, this is pretty thrilling stuff, but it all adds up in the end. Trust me on this. Uh, let's go to W. I'll move this out of the way and control D it. Go like this. Now I'm going to say, what if I wanted that flat on the top? Okay. Control R. Whoops. Move that up. And what if I wanted it flat on the inside? Okay, this is like the first step to it. So I get this. But now I don't want this tapered to go on. Same with this. I don't want this tapered to go on. Okay, let's uh, go Control R. Let's harden up right there and uh, control R and let's harden up right here and see what happens. There we go. Instead of a dent, I have kind of a cylinder that pops out the top. Kind of looks like a Lego. So that is another example of a complex shape in the fact that I'm switching between organic and non-organic. Organic, non-organic. Non this is more of an organic feel to it. Uh, certainly at the bottom, if I harden that edge up using another edge loop, it would be a non-organic form. All right, now, uh, I wanted to show you joining two objects together, but I wanted to go through one more concept of what I'm talking about as far as complex shapes before I did that. So in the next video, we'll look at, you know, we'll make a sphere, we'll make a box. How do you join those two together without doing this little method?